He's one of the biggest names in British boxing. He's helped put the heavyweight division back on the map, but still faces enormous scrutiny. He lives under a microscope very few people have to live under. Does Anthony Joshua have what it takes to become a three-time heavyweight world champion? Most important chapter of his career so far. The journey continues on December the 23rd against Otto Warling, a fight which he hopes will lead to Deontay Wilder. I can't wait. I'm here today to go inside the mind of the man they call AJ. The highs. Success breeds success. The lows. Something is deeply troubling. And the ambition to carry on fighting the best. A lot of emotion. Mm. Yeah, a lot of emotion. So and now I've got over that. It's not part of my plan anymore. So what's next? I could aim to become champion. Bodybuilders up, Doss is down. He just looks like a flat slob. It is tough at the top. It's so tough at the top, but he's got to stop running his mouth because it does come back and bite you. You can be the flavour of the month. You can be the hot topic of, of conversation, and then next minute you can be hated. Life is short, man. Happy. I'm happy. I'm great. Life is good. Anthony, great to see you again. You too, Laura. How have you been? All is well, thank you. Yeah? Good to see you with your new broadcaster. I know. <laughs> I feel like that was a dig. No. I feel like now, because of this fight December 23rd, it's like everything's changing and merging. Bizarre. Do you not find that a bit weird? So it's like going to be double broadcasters, yeah. maybe a few more, and then you've got Eddie and Frank Warren under one roof as well. Honestly. I feel like, you know when your parents divorce and then they have to get back together yeah. for a family party? For a family party. And I feel yeah, like, like this is a bit weird, but it's cool at the same time. I haven't seen this in... The time I've watched boxing, I've never seen something like this happen. Does it feel big to you? Yeah, so yeah. there was all us boxers yeah. sitting on one table earlier on and taking a picture. And I said, it feels like, like Premier League or yeah, yeah, Champions yeah. League, that like type of... Like a Super of, League. Like a Super League where we all come yeah. together and it does feel big, yeah. Do you think that's where it's heading? Like a kind of Super League format? Like There's semi-finals, final? Potential. Oh, really? There's potential. Oh, you know something I don't know. I feel like there's a way it's been done. Yeah. which is working, and there's a proven history there, and then there's a way that there's potential it could work, but there's no, there's no track record there, so who knows how well it will go. My small brain is ticking now. So, for example, yeah. in the heavyweight division, where the most common moan is that we don't see enough fights and we yeah. don't see enough of the best fighters fighting each other, yeah. do you think in that kind of format we'd see it more often? Yeah, definitely, because it's like... Um, uh, tiered system, yeah. but let's say one versus four, two versus three, then the winners fight each other. So sooner or later, across the year, everyone will fight each other. So with that in mind, mm -hmm. who is headlining on the 23rd? <laughs> Takes a drink. Takes a sip, yeah. <laughs> you know, these things are, are beyond me. Is it true, because I heard that there's going to be a flip of the coin, is that right? Would I even want to do a flip of the coin? Yeah, why would you? I think maybe for entertainment purposes, but it is what it is. Because well, I feel like it's, it comes today and goes tomorrow. Whoever goes first or whatnot, it doesn't really matter. It's just about winning. Yeah. It's just about winning. Win the fight and on to the next one. Is there no part of you, though, where a career as big as yours? Yeah. Was there not a part of you that's like, well, no, I'll be headlining this fight? I know what you're saying. Yeah. I know, I know pride, where you're coming from. a little bit. Bit of pride, like I've worked hard. I, um, yeah, you've earned that. Yeah. But at the same time, my job is to fight. Mm. And there are people above me that run the event, run the entertainment sector. So they might want to do things a certain way for benefits of certain things that are out of my control. So yeah. I'm just rolling with, the, uh, rolling with the dice at the minute. Do you like Christmas? I love Christmas. How do you feel about fighting on the 23rd of December in Saudi Arabia? In terms of timing, you know, the 20th or something, 19th might have been a bit better, but yeah. <laughs> 23rd is, is nice, actually. Yeah. People will be unwinding. I think it will capture a lot of the general public's attention. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it, so... Um, you know what's cool about it, actually, is, it, is you know that there's going to be, like, families in That's their I mean. lounges watching it together, and yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. you get to put on a show. Did you watch Tyson Fury against Francis Ngani? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did yeah. you get, like, a sense of... Because when we were out there, we were like, wow, this feels like really big. Mm. Did it make you think, I want a bit of that? I know you've been out there before, but was there something different about that event that you think might even be grander when you guys do it on the 23rd? 
Yeah, because I feel, especially like the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, is like it doesn't stop, mm. and there's not a a full stop behind how far they want to go and how far they yeah. want to take it. So I'm really excited to see how they can top the Tyson Fury and Ngannou fight with this card that's coming up on December 23rd. Mm. Then I wonder what's going to happen in 2024 and so on. And I um I, re I really look forward to seeing the next generation come up because. You know, the doors are opening for us, which means that they'll stay open for them. And uh, it's only going to get bigger and better. Tell me about what excites you about this fight, Otto Barlin. Um, the shots I'll be able to land, um, the practice I'm putting in. Because of Southpaw, they give me certain opportunities. Um, and I've been in there with uh, Usyk twice. I've shared the mm. ring with him 24 rounds, a really talented fighter. So for some people, obviously it's a loss on a record, but for me, I took it as a learning curve, so I've learned from it and I'll come back stronger. So you're saying like the southpaw style gives you opportunities, does it give you problems as well? How's it give you true, problems? True, 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 yeah, you can look at it that way. <laughs> Any style will give you problems. Yeah, it's yeah. a very negative way of looking at it, but I suppose... I know what you're saying. Though. In terms of like going into that fight, you've got Ben Davidson as well, so how did that come about? Just been working with him, so obviously I'm based in America. Yeah. Majority of the time for training camp, and then when I'm back here, rather than hitting a heavy bag by myself in the gym, and making a hell of mistakes, I, I think it's good to work with a coach to still sharpen my tools. So did the combination of, of you bringing in Ben, did that happen before you knew about this fight? Because a lot of people will look at it and go, oh, did he bring him in because he worked with Tyson Fury when Tyson Fury went and fought Otto Wallen? And did you see something in that fight that you thought, oh, I can get some, some good advice and good training It's funny, I haven't looked at it like that. No, you're not. You, you, you brought it to my attention that you worked did with I? Yeah. He worked with uh, Fury when he fought Otto, and now it's like, what? <laughs> I don't crazy how you. it works, I swear. Really? Yeah, 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 because this fight came about two, three days ago. Yeah. And we were working two, three months ago. Yeah, OK. So we were working together anyway. So now you're going to go back to him and say, right, we're going to watch that fight together, we're going to sit tell down, me tell me exactly what I need to do. Saw, exactly, he's been in there, he's been in the corner. Wallen's a tough guy. Mm. He's never been stopped, never been hurt, um, durable. So yeah, he's, he's going to be game. I feel like a lot of people doubt how good I am, but I'm going to show them how good I am. Mm. And I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. Would you rather be fighting Deontay or that? At some stage. Not this present moment, no. Mm. My eyes fully locked in on, on Otto Wallen. That's the reason why I'm not going to say, yeah, I'd prefer to, because no, I've got the guy I want, and that's Wallen, so let's rock and roll. So if I was to say, when do you reckon you'd get to that fight, you probably will say? 2024. Oh, really? So I don't put my, my foot in, I'm going to say mid. Yeah. <laughs> not early, not late. <laughs> Somewhere in the year. But you know what, though? That is really exciting. I don't want to take the attention too much off yeah. of Otto Wallen. But I think there's so many people that that fight as well is exciting. With the Wilder one? Yeah. Like, so let's like say, us. who else? What, Wilder, yeah. Ngannou? Yeah. Well, that's on my list. <laughs> yeah, you're, okay. jumping, wait, you're jumping forward. But while we're there, let's do it. OK, OK. Tyson Fury? Yeah, that's a big fight. Otto Wallen, obviously, first. Yeah. Deontay Wilder. And now Francis Ngannou comes into the frame a little yeah. bit, which I think caught everyone else by surprise. 100%. Those are the ones really, like... But anyone else that you think would be a fight where everyone would go, yeah, I really want, I want to see that happen? I think any, any go on. What happens if Joseph Parker be, beats Deontay Wilder? <sighs> Let's go. I, I still fight Wilder. Yeah. Let's not take our eyes off the prize. But also, you know what it is as well? It's all fun, but I want to become three-time heavyweight champion of the world. That's my main focus. And yeah. Wildlin's also um, fighting for the mandatory position to fight for the IVF mm. as well. So if I can beat Wildlin, God willing, it works out, then that puts me in position to fight for the mandatory where I can then compete for the title. Mm. So if Parker beat Wilder, they're still part of that entertainment circle, but he's yeah. not officially ranked with the IVF. So for me, it's like, it's good, but it's not part of my plan, but it's still entertainment. Yeah. And uh, Parker will be a good fight. Wilder will be a good fight. I think anyone who fights me from an entertainment point of view makes a bit of noise. Right, so uh, here's a little game. I'm going to give you a name yeah. of a fighter in the heavyweight division. Yeah. You need to describe them in one word and then tell me what would happen in a fight between you. Yeah. Tyson Fury. And <laughs> PG. <laughs> there are children watching. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> you called him Doss earlier on. Because he's like, he, 
Okay, if I call people dossers for certain things and the same thing happens to me, what does that make me? Um, a dosser? <laughs> so he's a dosser, isn't he? <laughs> but, like, I don't know. But we... Sometimes I think, should I just rip into this geezer and just call him every name under the sun, or should I just leave him? All of your media team right now, are pro their heart rate is I like don't mind about the media team. going right through their mouths. I don't mind. Okay, this one is word for One, go on one. <laughs> I wish. One word for fury. Diva. Diva. Yeah, Diva. Interesting. Okay. And then what would happen in a fight between you two now? Good fight. Yeah, good yeah. fight. Who wins? Me. How? Too quick, too strong, can't lean on me, can't throw me about. And I'm explosive. No. I can knock out yeah, I can knock people out. I knock a lot of people out. Early rounds? No, early I wouldn't be early. He's a good fighter. But I'll I'll be there. I'll be there hundred percent. Okay. Next yeah. one. Francis and Garni. Inspiration. Yeah, he's cool, isn't he? Story, his story. Wow. If you can't take motivation from that and inspiration, I don't know what, what would drive you in life. Mm. What a story he has. Um, mm. So inspiration for me. And a nice guy. Have you met him yet? No, nah, I haven't. Would you, like, would you like to meet him other than fighting him? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd like to go to Cameroon. Yeah. The, to the sand mine where he was where he digging. Where he worked as a kid, yeah, right? Like Ten it, years yeah. old? Yeah. Amazing. Know, yeah. What would happen in a fight between you, though? War. Yeah. <laughs> First man, like, first man to land, like, you're going out. Yeah. Yeah. It would be rough, wouldn't it? Battle of the bodybuilders. <laughs> Imagine. Wow. Tyson Fury can stay at home. <laughs> Imagine the pay per views on that. <laughs> They'd be like, it's 700 pounds. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them in. Well, the thing is with me, I'll be like, <laughs> I have all this money, but by the time I finish, I'm going to be like, Duh. Yeah. Like, just, I'm not going to be able to move. I'll just you keep... need to be careful. Yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. Like, just Maybe anyway. for that fight, you can have crash helmets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that should be allowed. Um, last one. Yeah. Describe me Deontay Wilder in one word. Bronze. Bronze, nice. I see what you did there. And what would what happen? What did I do? Bronze bomber, you went for his name. No. Nah. No, some, what, for a different reason? You're not gold. Why? You're not silver. Oh, you mean like Olympic bronze? Just general, you're not, you're not gold. Do you think like, as in like, prob oh, okay, I like it. Yeah. Well, that's actually quite deep. That's quite a dig. That was good, actually, that was good. See it? Yeah, that was better. That was like a double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, what would happen in a fight between you now? Same as Ngani. Just a proper all-out war. Yeah. Do you think he would be easier than Ngani in terms of like punch power or harder? I don't know. I think because you know what it is in heavyweight boxing, believe it or not, and I'm not going to bore everyone, but yeah. every heavyweight hits differently. Some have got like a fud in power. Some have yeah. got like a slap in power. Some have got a punch that you don't even see coming. It's they just got a variety of different power. So I think they'll be so different. I don't know. I watched an interview that you did with Louis Theroux. The main man? Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And um, you Better spoke... Better than Pizza Hut? No, no, no. Pizza Hut will always win. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza Hut will always be with the fake plants. Like, can I just, like, you know... And we got your water. Yeah. Did Louis... I didn't see you drink anything with Louis. Yeah, you didn't offer me So, anything. yeah, you must oh, have been parched. Honestly. <laughs> anyway, but thank you. You talked about being 22, winning Olympic gold, and uh, he asked you how much you changed. And you said... Loads. I suppose my question on that would be, yeah. how have you changed? Have you um, changed for the better, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I've gone through different phases, like different priorities mm. have made me change. Um, so what I'm working on now is kind of like um, building my war council, mm. where everything's in line. I've got my people in line, my family are good, yeah. my friends are good, we've got certain businesses set up, our ecosystem's ticking nicely, we've got longevity in our structure. There's a lot of things I could do by myself, mm. and there's so much more I can do with the help of others. Mm. So um, I'm, really, I'm really grateful for the friends and the, the team I have. I think that's really fascinating because I think sometimes you could be really insular in, in something that you do. And I've, yeah. I've interviewed you before and you've, and you've said that this is everything, but actually when you strip it back, it's not actually, yes, it's everything to make boxing work and to make yeah. boxing the best thing in your life, yeah. but there's actually so much more going on. Which we have to keep in order. Yeah. If I want boxing to work. Yeah. Because as I say, is that what can happen is sports becomes secondary and life becomes priority, mm. where sports has to become priority and life becomes secondary. Mm. So everything else needs to just run smoothly, where mm. nothing gets to me 
until it needs to. So everything else is secondary and sports is like yeah. my main focus. But it does take time and effort to organise that. When I say undisputed, yeah. what does that mean to you? Do you, do you feel a little bit of a pang? Like, I, that's what I want. I want to be in that picture. Um, I, I used to, but it won't happen anymore. <laughs> Why? Have you resigned yourself to that or what do you think? I think it's just the reality. Because mm. what will happen is that um, Usk and Fury are now in position to compete for the Undisputed. And once they compete for the Undisputed, the belts will get split up again. And I feel it will probably take me about maybe five to six years to go through and get all the belts, mm. beat all the independent champions. And that will probably take me on to being like 40 to 41 before I do that again. So I'm just like, it's probably not in my, mm. in my time frame. Was that a process in itself to sink in and overcome? Did, did you almost go through, do you go through a period of grieving when maybe one of your targets, for example? Yeah, you saw it after the Usyk 2 is, fight. Yeah, was that grief? Yeah, because I weren't in the undisputed race anymore. I weren't champion, yeah. so that was like a massive, like, I don't know how to explain it, but something comes over you. But it's just passion. Emotion. I call it passion. A lot of emotion. Mm. Yeah, a lot of emotion. Yeah. So and now I've got over that. It's not part of my plan anymore. So mm. what's next? I could aim to become champion. Did you feel a little bit of pressure off your shoulders? Any relief in that at all? Mm, no, I don't. Because it's still like, you can still fight this person, you can still fight that person, mm. and this person just emerged out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. So there's still competition. That, one of those people that's just emerged out of nowhere, Francis Ngannou. Exactly. Who do you think won that fight? I think Ngannou won. Mm. But the, the refs are there for a reason. They score it how they score it, and they're professionals at what they do. I'm just mm. an observer. So, um, Fury won. But I think, from a fan point of view, Ngannou won. Do you think, did it make you look at Fury and go, right, OK, maybe there is... I mean, I know you would have looked at him for a long time and thought you could beat him no. and have that belief. Did anything change in that fight? Bodybuilders up, dosses down. He just looks like a flat slob <laughs> that just can't fight. And he says that bodybuilders can't fight, but he got smacked up by one. Does it make, does it make, does it make you want to, like, you're like, ah, oh, you know, I want to, now I want to get in the ring with him? No, nah, I've always wanted to get in the ring with him. Mm. But he does a lot always... of talking, calls me a bodybuilder and stuff, but I one of my other African pals who's a bodybuilder step in and smack him up for me. <laughs> so it just shows, isn't it? It's tough at and this is what I tell people, listen, it is tough at the top. It's so tough at the top. Getting there's one thing and staying there's another. And he's starting mm. to see. I think that was his maybe his fifth. That wasn't even a world title fight. I think he's had four or five world title fights. Mm. You've and had and a it's lot. tough. Yeah, I had twelve. It's tough, it's man. Bad, it's not easy. So, um, yeah, good luck to him anyway, but he's got to stop running his mouth because it does come back and bite you. Who wins that fight then, Fury and Usyk? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm team Usyk anyway. Are you? Yeah, Why is because, that? Because, because there's respect between you. Respect, but you know, Fury said a lot of bad things about me, so I'm never going to roll. I'm never going to ride with someone that disrespects me. Mm. That's, that'll make me a lunatic. I'm pretty level-headed, so I want to go with a person who shows me more respect. Do you still have, for example, after that fight, Undisputed fight happens, Usyk wins that. Do you still have a passion or a drive, motivation to fight Fury for nothing? <clears throat> Entertainment factor, yeah. It's just getting drawn out a bit, though. Yeah. Because I think he, they'll have two fights. You have the first one and the rematch, so I'll probably want maybe Fury, that'll be his only two fights next year. Let's say it is. Mm. Well, hopefully he can sneak one in at the end of the year with me. But that draws it out for another 12 months before I'll see Fury, so it's just long. But we've got Wilder anyway, or we've got Parker. We've got other big fights. Is that a frustration for you in boxing in general that there's been so many times where you've come so close to having these mega fights that we all want to see as well, mm. and for some reason they haven't happened? Not necessarily, because I looked at my career and I realised, even when I sat at the table with all the other boxers, I, I looked and I thought, I've boxed you, I've boxed you, I was supposed to fight you, I've sparred you, I've sparred you, and I looked at everyone else on the table and I thought, you haven't boxed him when he was champion, you didn't box him, so... Mm. I, I, I tried to do my best, and the facts and stats will show that, that's not me making it up, so... Yeah. It is what it is now, I've done what I could when I was champion, mm. and I've taken that pressure off myself now. Let's see how well Fury handles being at the top for... Let's see how long he can reign for. Do you think he's getting a bit of a taste of the sharp side of, of boxing. Because I don't people know. are questioning that win. 
I'm not too sure. I think that's just life in general as well. Mm. So wow. it's not, yeah, it is what it is. It comes with the territory. Um, and like, I'm not singled out and it's mm. not only happening to me and everyone else kind of gets a, a joy ride. Yeah. You can be the flavour of the month. You can be the hot topic of, of conversation and then next minute you can be hated. But it's war for ducks back, especially when you've seen it happen before. Mm. You realise that, you know, what's the, you know what's the best healer? It's time. Yeah. Just give it time and everything will, everything will work out. Yeah. I always think that when I've like put a risky tweet out or something and it's not gone my way and I'm <laughs> like, oh, I'm like yeah. what am I going to do? And I delete Twitter for a week. Just and then time. And then I'm come back and I'm like, everyone's forgotten, it's fine. Exactly. Like, everything, everything, everything moves on. Out, so, Is yeah. that the best bit of advice? Is that the thing that you learned? No, I learned to make sure you have something to fall back on because the industry doesn't love you as much as you think. Mm. If you think your value is in the industry, when it spits you out, you'll be left with nothing. So take what you can mm. before it gets rid of you. And that's what I learned is to have your business head on because yeah. um, there's a life after sports and you've got to be switched on. Are you happy right now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. A little bit tired. <laughs> it's only getting a bit worse today. <laughs> yeah. You've got about a million a media opportunities. Tired, like, sorry. I'm happy though. <laughs> good. Are you good? You can't flip it on me. It's not about. <laughs> then I was like, oh my God, am I happy? <laughs> life is short, man. Happy. I'm happy. I'm great. Life is good. That's the key. All right, AJ. Good luck. Thank you very much for your time. 23rd is going to be great. I appreciate it. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much.